I'm Adam from Artscore. If you've ever thought you wanted to learn a little bit about animation, I've got a pretty cool project for you today. Today, we're going to make a zoetrope. A zoetrope is a really simple type of animation machine. Okay, for this project, you're going to need some tape, a pencil, large piece of black construction paper. This is 12 by 18. Uh, if you don't have that, two 9 by 12 pieces will work. Just need to tape them together. Uh, a ruler, I have my square right here, but scissors, those will come in handy, and a compass. Oh, you might also need some scrap cardboard. Um, I have a box lid laying around, so I'm going to use that. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I've got my construction paper here, and this piece of paper is 18 inches by 12 inches. Um, first thing I want to do is divide it in half this way. Measure this off in one and a half inch increments. Okay, I've got my one and a half inch increments, and now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure off a quarter inch mark behind each one and a half inch segment I made. So I'm going to make a mark at one and a quarter inches. Like that, that's my first one. And then my next one is going to look like this. And it should look something like this when you're done. Okay, the next thing I want to do is just get a rough idea of how far I'm going to cut into this. And that's going to be about two and a half inches. So this is about two and a half inches right there. I'm just going to put a little mark there. What I want to do is I want to make a cut on each one of these marks. And I want to cut from here down to about right there. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold up these little strips right here that are sticking out. It should look something like this. I have a couple pieces of tape and we're going to tape this together. So what I want to do is put one piece right down here in the corner, kind of like that. I'm going to bring this around like that. Try and match up these bottom pieces. And then I'm going to fold this over so it goes underneath and around the underside. And I'm going to take one more piece, just put it right there. Pretty easy. Should look something like that. So this is going to be my zoetrope, but it's a little squishy, so it needs a little platforming we can put it on. And we're going to make that out of cardboard. Now there's a little bit of math involved in figuring out what size this needs to be, but uh, you guys probably know this already, but the circumference, which is the distance around the outside of the circle, is the diameter the distance across times pi, which is 3.14. Uh, you solve the math on that, and it comes out to a radius of a circle, which is about 2 and 7 eighths. Um, I'll put that up on the screen in just a second in case you're interested in that. In the meantime, I'm going to start drawing my circle. be my platform. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of cut this out roughly. It doesn't need to be exact, but it helps if it's going to be kind of circular shaped. So let me rough this out real quick. Okay, the next thing I want to do is tape this down here.
So the next thing you want to do is get some receipt paper. I'm going to measure off 18 inches since we know that is the circumference of our zoetrope and that's going to fit inside right here. Uh, now we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to measure off one and a half inch increments and so we'll end up with 12 sections. So what I want to do in each one of these frames is draw a little picture and then in the next frame I'm going to draw basically the same picture and I'm going to move it just a little bit. Now if you have something complicated like a tree growing, uh, you're going to have to draw each one of those frames by hand a little different, the tree getting bigger and bigger. For this example, I'm just going to use this hand and I'm going to trace it and I'm going to move it a little bit in each frame. And then that'll be my animation. Okay, I'm going to try and do that real quick. Okay, I finished drawing my animation. Uh, the pencil was a little light, so I went over it with a Sharpie. And now it's nice and dark. Okay, what I want to do is take this, I'm going to fold it up, or roll it up, I guess, so that the picture is on the inside. I'm going to make a loop, and I'm going to put it inside my zoetrope. And I'm going to set it down in there, hopefully. Yeah, that fits real well. I can see some of it overlaps a little bit, but that's okay. All right, I think we're ready to go test it out. And so what we want to do here is look straight across through the slits at the drawings on the other side. And I'm going to spin this real gently and hopefully, a little difficult, but hopefully we can see the sort of animation going on a little bit. Do you get that illusion of the hands waving back and forth a little? Okay, here you can see I've got my zoetrope set up on a little pottery wheel. I'm going to try and get in there a little closer and then we'll see how this animation looks. You probably have some other things laying around your house that might spin, something like uh, an office chair maybe, a uh, record player also work. Um, you can experiment more with spinning it by hand. That always works. I'll tell you I tried putting it on a desk fan. It was a little too fast, so I don't know. I'm sure there's something out there that'll work for you. And also there's lots of things you can experiment with as far as your animation goes. You know, you can try using pictures, print those out and put them in there. Um, you could also draw them out individually on post-its, stick those on the inside. So there's lots of different things uh, that you could do for your animation. Why don't you try and think about some of those. And if you come up with some cool ideas you want to share with us, why don't you send them to us at integration at artscore.org. All right, I'm out of here. Thanks a lot.